Have you ever wondered why some pigments fade out into weird colors in the skin? For instance, on eyebrows for permanent makeup procedures. Have you had clients come in with pink or salmon brows? What could have caused this to happen? Stick around and I'm going to explain to you why this could be happening to you. Hi everyone, I'm Terry Lively and this is my channel, Everything Permanent Makeup. So one of the things a lot of us see on a regular basis are clients coming in with brows that have faded into weird colors. What could have caused this? Now of course we know that there can be variables, like tattooing too deeply in the skin can cause a brow to ash out. But could it actually be a problem with the pigment you're using? Did you realize that? Let me give you a little class on how pigments are made and something called light fastness. So light fastness and how it relates in regards to tattooing and permanent makeup means this. How long will this pigment hold up in the skin before it starts fading out? Why is that important? Well, let me explain. There's something in the industry called the blue wool scale. This scale rates pigments as far as their light fastness. The blue wool scale is also used in all kinds of industries, including textiles, automobile paints, and yes, in the tattoo pigment industry. If you'd like to learn more about it, just Google blue wool scale. You'll find all kinds of information on it. But in the meantime, let me explain a little more about it. The blue wool scale has ratings from one to eight. One being very poor, light fastness and eight being very light fast. In other words, it's going to hold up in the skin for a very long time if it's on like a seven or eight on the blue wool scale. So let's talk about this and about how pigments are made and why light fastness is so important. Let's just pretend we have a color of pigment in the bottle and it's going to be an eyebrow color. We're going to make up a name for this color. Let's call it beautiful blonde. Let's say Beautiful Blonde in the bottle is made up of three different pigment colors that are mixed together. Pigment number one has a light fast rating of seven, light fastness rating of seven, I should say, meaning that it's going to hold up in the skin for a long time. Pigment number two, making up our brow color, has a light fastness rating also of a seven. But the third color, pigment number three, has a light fastness rating of a two, which is very poor light fastness, meaning it's going to fade out in the skin quicker than the other two colors. So what's gonna happen over time? What it comes down to is that our eyebrow that's been tattooed with our pigment called Beautiful Blonde is going to fade out unevenly, and we're going to end up with a funky brow color in a few years. So let me tell you something. When you have a pigment manufacturer that takes light fastness into consideration when they're formulating their colors, they'll always mix colors that have a light fastness rating close to each other on the blue wool scale. And that means over time they're going to have even fading out of those brows. And you're not going to end up with pink or salmon or other weird colors coming back on your clients in a couple of years. That's why I love Permablend. Permablend pigments are so great because the company and the scientists who formulate for Permablend, they understand light fastness and they take this into consideration when they make their pigments. I've been using Permablend now for several years and I see my clients come back after two, three years and they have nice even fading. I don't see, see pink brows anymore. I don't see salmon brows anymore, which you know what? It makes my job a lot easier because I'm not having to go in and do a color correction. Who wants to do that anymore? By the way, you can order all of your Permablend pigments at my site, livelyink.com. And if you need help in choosing your first set of Permablend co colors, just give us a call. We'll be happy to assist you. And I'll leave all our contact information down below, below in the comments section. So hey, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Terry Lively and I'll see you again soon on Everything Permanent Makeup. Have a great day.